So my friend Ver Mario Viscoso and I, today we're messing around with the iguana push-up, and by no means is it perfect, but we wanted to give you a few ideas to progress into the iguana push-up. So basically, first progression is you basically have your feet on the floor and you bring your hands on the Liebert stabilizer or on the parallel bars at the park. You'll have more advantage at the parallel bars at the park because they're a little bit thicker and you could get your bearings. Next one is you bring your feet on a bench and you sort of do push-ups with the bench. You lower down as much as possible. You try and keep your body straight. It's not always easy as you are trying to maintain your balance, but just try the best that you could. And so that's it. You bring it Liebert and bench. Don't forget to breathe. You lower down as much as possible. And again, guys, remember, this was a work in progress. We didn't master it. We just wanted to give you guys a couple ideas to practice with. Next one is trampoline, if you have a chance. And you try and bounce the feet just a little bit. This is fun for your abs. It's fun as a plyometric exercise. And it's fun to actually gain balance as you're doing the exercise. This is my friend Mario Viscoso again. So this is how you do it. You basically get a little jump and then that's it. Next one is a power wheel. You could do abdomen stuff. This is really, really amazing for your abdomen. And I think it'll translate well once you're doing the iguana push-up. The next exercise, what you do is again power wheel, but you grab the Liebert in a different direction and you do push-ups like so, bringing the power wheel forward and then backing up on it and lowering down, forward, backing up on it and lowering down. Try your best. This exercise is probably harder than the iguana push-up itself. Then what I did for the iguana push-up is I took off my shoes as it's easier to clasp into the Liebert and I got onto a bench and I placed my feet onto the Liebert uh, stabilizer or it could be the equivalent of the parallel bars at the park and you practice lowering down. And so you use the bench just because it's easier to get your balance it's, and it's easier to get up onto the Liebert stabilizer. Next one is you could just get onto the Liebert stabilizer straight away from the floor. You basically come, you put your feet, you try and get your bearings and you lower down as much as possible. My range of motion is not perfect, so I realize this. I just wanna give you guys with uh, some exercises and some tips and progressions if you wanna uh, practice and master the iguana push-up. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and namaste.